barriers, immigration, and now passports. Despite knowing that Canadians want to travel and need to get their passports renewed, this government has failed to prepare. Now, people are having to wait in long lineups at 4 a.m. and have no way of knowing when they will finally get their passport. When will the minister do her job and clear up the passport backlog they knew was coming? Yeah. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It seems that I'm answering a lot of questions today. Um, just to answer my colleague on his questions. Let's allow the Honourable Member, to, Parliamentary Secretary, uh, to, uh, to respond so that uh, the Honourable uh, Member can have the answer to his question. Thank you, Madam Speaker. As I mentioned earlier, there's an overwhelming increase in demand for passport services at this time, nearly 40 percent. And the minister has been working with officials. As I mentioned before, we've already hired, as of December, 500 new passport employees, but we've done more than that, Madam Speaker. We created three additional passport application processing centers. We've extended service into weekends and overtime. Our Service Canada officials are working day and night to make sure that Canadians get the passports and services they need. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Bose. Madam Speaker, the seeding season has arrived and a large number of temporary foreign workers are expected. Unfortunately, many companies are waiting for workers who are not arriving. Yet, pr procedures ban at the end of, began at the end of 2021 for the arrival of these workers. It is the Minister of immigration not able to show any foresight, especially since this program has existed for several years. Once again, this government is in reaction mode and our farmers will pay the price. Why does this minister, what does it, this minister say to many farmers who are having to delay seeding or even reduce their acreage this summer? Madam Speaker, thank you. And I'd like to thank my colleague for his question. We appreciate the contribution to the Canadian economy of these farmers and that is why there is a three-year period of investment. $29.3 million will be uh, introduced in investment. $64.6 million will be put towards uh, in em employer inspections so that there is decent and fair treatment, we will always be there for employers. The Honourable Member for Chateau Gay Lacol. Madam Speaker, COVID has had a tremendous impact on our economy and it's thanks of this government's prudent and constant support to Canadians and Canadian businesses that we are seeing a strong economic recovery. But we know that there are other opportunities for economic growth in this great country. Can the Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Tourism and the Associate Manager of Finance please stand up and tell us how the 2022 budget will promote economic growth? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. I'd like to thank the member f for her excellent question. And obviously, uh, Budget 2022 does have many measures to promote economic growth with a new growth fund for Canada to boost investment in the private sector, but we're continuing to invest in our clusters. And yesterday, the Prime Minister announced in Montreal that a Moderna factory would be setting up shop here in Quebec. Bon. Madam Speaker, Laura, a nurse in my riding, has worked long hours to guarantee the health and well-being of our community during the pandemic. It's wonderful. She was upset to learn renewing her passport would take several months. Oh, no. Her credit card was charged, but her passport was nowhere to be found. Unacceptable. Our health care providers have given up a lot to keep our community safe. Absolutely. When is this government going to recognize the hardworking Canadians and get them back to work? Absolutely. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And as we know, Canadians have waited a long time to travel again, and many of them are eager to do so, to reunite with loved ones and to take a well-needed rest and, and vacation. But as I mentioned before, demand for passports is up over 40 percent, and our, our, service, our Service Canada employers are working night and day, overtime and weekends. As I said before, we will continue to uncover every opportunity to ensure Canadians receive the service that 